whether you're dealing with emotional eating and um, sort of stepping into the whole how do I love myself because I I you know when I was in my own diet hell for 30 years I knew that I needed to love myself like I knew that was the key I was not a moron um, Google told me that Google told me I was not a moron Google told me the way to end the battle with the eating dilemma was to love yourself and I was like thank you Google like that's so super helpful how the hell do you love yourself as always as always dropping in at the most I was gonna say at the most inopportune times but who knows it may be a fabulous time for you to be joining me so okay here we go as we are judging into the center of our year and you know we all had these big hopes and dreams big for this new year we'd be we all be like oh it's gonna be fabulous you know like you hear me say pixies are gonna dance aladdin's gonna come visit me in the middle of the night harry potter's gonna ding me on the head it's gonna be great nothing will ever phase me again i'm on track i've got my plan for the year and it's gonna be amazing that's great until it's not until it's not Stuff happens. I nearly said that it happens, but it does, right? Stuff happens. And that can range from anything from outside dramas to internal dramas, you know, and just physical illness and whatever, whatever is going on. For those of us with kitty winks, you know, hello, there's a whole nother universe of troubles over there. Mm. Whether you're dealing with emotional eating and um, sort of stepping into the whole, how do I love myself? Because I I, you know, when I was in my own diet hell for 30 years, I knew that I needed to love myself. Like, I knew that was the key. I was not a moron. Um, Google told me that. Google told me I was not a moron. Google told me the way to end the battle with the eating dilemma was to love yourself. And I was like, thank you, Google. Like, that's so super helpful. How the hell do you love yourself? There was no further steps after that. There was no more explanation. Like, just love yourself. And I'm like, what the... F how do you do that? Like, oh, thanks, Einstein. Super helpful, but how do you do it? And so here's the little tip that I want to give you for today because honestly, I swear to you, I swear, the self-love is actually um, always there when you take away the masks and the turmoil and the distractions from it. It's actually living inside. It's been there the whole time. So it's not a matter of something, how do I create this thing? It's more a matter of how do I tap into this thing? And so I'm going to eventually now I think I've rambled enough that I'm going to give you these three tips and these are there's just three words and they've been my key words for probably smithers excellent probably about two to three years now self-love is not something you have to create it's not something you need to get because you don't have it like that would be so weird if a baby was born instantly hating itself from birth that's not a thing not a thing so much of my job is pointing out things that are not actually things like there's so much in this universe that we think are things and they're just not things so so think about it can we all for those of you that have babies i don't however just a small tip there i don't but i've seen with my friends you know there are, i've never seen a baby that is uh instantly crying and hating itself from birth and then you know like five two three five weeks into its journey here on planet earth it's just going on oh, my thighs are too fat and i hate myself and ooh, my nose is too pudgy and i'm so ugly like send me to jenny craig immediately i don't want that formula that formula's got too many calories i'm gross look at me like it's not a thing not babies are born innately in love with themselves they're fascinated by themselves they think they're fabulous and they are so self-love is not something that you had and then lost it's not something that you never had so you need to get it and create it it's always been there people it's always like oh it's a bit of a shimmy going on there i'm not quite sure what that was all about. self love has always been there it's an innate part of you you don't need to get it you're not lacking it you simply need to tap into it now finally here's the three words that really helped me the most in order to be able to do that because what happens is when we are conflicted within ourselves and our actions, we, we lose sight of, of the beauty that is us. It's like a um, Mary Poppins movie or something. A spoonful of sugar. We lose sight of, of the essence of us and we get very confused and upset with ourselves about our actions. But if you can move forward and make, make the majority of your decisions from this place with intention integrity and alignment with your core values you will find that you are rarely in a position where you just go oh my god that was so stupid i hate what i said i hate what i did i can't believe i posted that i can't believe i said that to that person like i can't believe i acted that way if you can make your choices right so this would take 
this would take in order for you to achieve this. This would take a moment of slow it down, people. Slow the heck down. We're all fast, fast, now, now. Do this for me, do that for me. You're too slow. What do you mean you got to change the over? Like, a, oh my God, that is going to take so long. 30 seconds? I don't have 30 seconds. Don't you know how important I am? Ultimately, you're no more important than the next person in line who's also pissed because she's got to change the cash register roll or whatever's going on. But the, uh, but the thing is, we get really worked up and really caught up in the moment and we go whoosh off with our emotions and then... That is when you do not make decisions with intention, integrity, and alignment. And are they the ones that you end up regretting? Tell me yes or no. If you look back over the storybook of your life, are the decisions that you regret the most, right? Confession time. We have a moment of usher. That you regret the most are the ones that you did not make, did not make with any form of intention, integrity, and certainly not in alignment with core values. No, they were the ones that you made like hopeful that other people would like you or trying to get someone to like you or hopeful that they'll you like them trying to get them to whatever you know what I mean you know what I'm saying oh and we do this all the time all the time we compromise ourselves in order to try and win someone else over for me I just think I could not care anymore what somebody says about me or thinks about me that's not my business uh, it doesn't impact how I feel when I go to sleep at night. When I lay my head on the pillow, it does not impact me in the least. What does impact me is the things I've said, the ways I've behaved, what I have or have not done that day, the people that I have or have chosen not to help. That's what impacts me. Making your decisions with intention, integrity, and alignment. <laughs> intention, integrity, and alignment. They're your three magic genie words. So I'm sending you tremendous amounts of love. As always, please do remember, if you've found value in today's live stream, apart from just having a bit of a giggle, please do go ahead, like, love, and share. Because when you stand up and embrace all of who you are and give yourself permission to be true and honest to you, you give another woman permission to do the same. Sending you tremendous amounts of love. Have an amazing weekend. And I will see you all next week. Until then, my gorgeous family, bye for now. And uh, as you know, and I did mention earlier, but I'll just quickly and briefly mention again, you can always come visit me and play over at uh, the, 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 uh, there are nothing about us women that is bleh, nothing. It's only fabulousness oozes from our pores. <laughs>